Many scooters have reduced me to an excitable kid, but few have left me completely speechless. The Nami Bernie 2 has done just that. The launch of the original Nami Bernie spun the world into a state of delirious revive. It changed the game, laying down a marker that even left the Goliath of ultra performance scooters, Dualtron, scrambled. The only issue was its price tag. Enter the Nami Bernie 2, the new sibling that, although smaller in both motor and battery power, will nevertheless leave riders of all levels in dumbfounded awe. It's almost implausible for a scooter of this power and build quality to be available at this price, yet here we are and I haven't even acknowledged the imperious ride quality. Armed with industry-leading KKE hydraulic suspension, the Burning 2 has the best ride quality of any scooter that we have ever tested. From budget to ultra performance, fast to long range, street to off-road and everything in between, I've reviewed every type of electric scooter and the Nami Burning 2 just took the crown as my all-time favorite. <laughs> I've been testing the Bernie 2 for a couple of months now and I've summarized my findings into 18 things that I love and while I put the scooter under the same scrutiny as the rest of the models that I've reviewed, I was able to just find one thing that I think could be improved. But before we jump into that, let me give you a quick overview of what you can expect from the Bernie 2 as well as who I recommend it for. Combining dual 72 volt 1000 watt motors with a large 28 amp battery and a host of premium features that are designed to prioritize rider comfort and safety, the Bernie 2 is a one of a kind scooter that can seamlessly transition to your riding desires. Whether you want to burn rubber in the city or tackle challenging off-road tracks, the Bernie 2 is a true all-terrain electric scooter. It's also one of the few electric scooters that gives you the ability to create custom customized riding profiles. You can adjust top level settings like the top speed and acceleration strength while also digging deeper by controlling how much power you want to flow to each motor. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. As a result of NAMI's customization credentials, you feel at one with the scooter. So with all of this in mind, if you want the best electric scooter that money can buy, then look no further than the NAMI Bernie 2. Now, if you're interested in learning more, keep watching as I unpack its design, features, build and ride quality, its performance, and how it stacks up against its predecessors and competitors. So without further ado, let's jump in. Though it sports a smaller battery, motors and controllers than its bigger sibling, the game-changing, world-dominating Bernie 2 Max, it harnesses all that is utterly exquisite about its predecessor and once again rewrites the rule book. Crucially, it comes in at a much lower price tag. Quite simply, the Bernie 2 has redefined what a scooter under $3,500 can deliver. Competitors, take note. Producing top speeds of 45 miles per hour, the Nami Bernie 2 packs enough punch to floor Mike Tyson. Usually electric scooters with dual 1000 watt motors operate at either 52 volts or 60 volts, but with the Bernie 2 breaking new boundaries being the only scooter in the industry to sport dual 1000 watt motors that are rated at 72 volts, it surpasses the performance of its 45 miles per hour counterparts. While it's easy to simply look at the spec sheet of the Bernie 2 and see that it has smaller motors and a lower top speed than its closest rivals, the Wolf King GT and the Bernie 2 Max, this doesn't paint the full picture. 
One of the biggest strengths of the Bernie 2 is its ability to muster an immense amount of torque to deliver an electrifying acceleration rate that goes toe to toe with that of its pricier rivals. The only point at which its closest rivals pull away is from 25 miles per hour and beyond. For me, a rider that has tested countless scooters ranging from budget models designed for first time riders to ultra performance models designed for scooter enthusiasts, the Bernie 2's acceleration and top speed represent the perfect blend of adrenaline filled rides with speeds that are controllable. Given the exceptional amount of torque that the Bernie 2 can generate, this scooter is a dream on steep inclines. Plus, with the ability to create customized riding modes, you even have the option to create a mode dedicated to hill climbs. Here, you could change the configuration of the motors to have more power running to the front as opposed to the rear to pull you up the hill as opposed to pushing you up it. With a hulking 72 volt, 28 amp battery, the Bernie 2 has a maximum range of 90 miles. Under realistic conditions, so riding in the fastest settings, you can expect a range of around 50 miles. And thanks to a well-balanced motor to power ratio, the Bernie 2 hits a home run delivering more miles than its similarly priced competitors. Plus, the battery takes just six to seven hours to charge. Given the enormity of its capacity, this is a generously low waiting period. It's worth noting that scooters with similarly sized batteries can take six 16 to 20 hours to charge. Thankfully, Nami provides a fast charger for free, which is more than can be said for some of their competitors. And in true Nami fashion, even the charger is high quality with an internal fan to regulate its temperature. To top off its impressive power, the real piece de resistance of the Bernie 2 is its formidable adjustable suspension that delivers a level of ride quality that no other scooter in the industry can compete with. It makes the suspension systems of its competitors look archaic. It truly delivers a luxurious ride, which is why we awarded it 10 out of 10 on our scale of shock absorption. Despite the shock system itself being complex, no other suspension system comes close to how easy and intuitive it is to adjust. Unlike other scooters, no tool like a C-spanner or wrench is needed. You simply dial in the amount of damping you want. Even new riders can get to grips with it super quickly. This was my first time testing Logan hydraulic disc brakes and combined with the PMT tires and readjustable regen brakes, their performance floored me. From 15 miles per hour, the scooter stopped in an impressive 1.8 meters. It was so impressive that I thought we got the measurements wrong, but after testing it 10 more times, I realized that my eyes weren't deceiving me after all. With the brake test being verified, the Nami Bernie 2 has secured itself as having the most powerful brakes that we have ever tested. I was fortunate to test the original Nami Bernie, the godfather of the Nami brand, and while putting the scooter through its paces, I noted how the handlebars were unusually narrow for an ultra performance model. They measured 24.4 inches, which was more than three inches shy of those flaunted by its competitors. As a result, the original Viper didn't feel as stable as other scooters at high speeds. With Nami taking feedback from the community and reviewers on board, they decided to release their next scooter, the Nami Bernie 2 Max, with wider 27 inch handlebars. Thankfully, this upgrade was passed down to the Bernie 2. Aside from the generous width, the handlebars are also slightly taller, giving you an extra half inch over the original, making it a fantastic fit for even the tallest of riders. After Nami graced the Bernie 2 with these upgrades, we saw a noticeable improvement in its handling. 
Plus, with NAMI pushing the improvements even further, they installed a bracket that allows riders to fit a steering damper for enhanced control. Depending on the retailer that you buy the Bernie 2 from, you may be able to get the damper included for free, but typically it will be an extra cost. All combined, the handlebars offer stability and reassurance at speed. The only model that can compete with the Bernie in this regard is the Wolf King GT with its dual stem and ultra wide 29.5 inch handlebars. Aside from the GT, the Bernie 2 champions over other models, especially those from Daltron, which have notoriously short handlebars and make the ride feel unstable. As to be expected, the Bernie 2 follows in the footsteps of its predecessors, delivering outstanding build quality. In fact, we rate the Bernie 2 as having the best build quality in the entire lineup of our 140 plus strong database of electric scooters. No matter where you look, the attention to detail ticks every box. The carbon fiber stem sports a stunning matte black finish that oozes the quality you'd expect from a scooter of this price tag and alongside the fierce looking girders of aviation grade aluminium that have been fused in a one piece frame, the Bernie 2 achieves a design that is rich in both texture and style. It even delivers a few improvements over its predecessors, including those wider handlebars, the built-in steering damper attachment, new waterproof motor connectors for better serviceability, improved charging ports with a fast five amp charger, and turn signals that can now be seen from the rear and sides. Sporting a humongous deck, the Bernie 2 provides ample room to achieve any stance that you desire. You can stand with both feet side to side, one in front of the other, or as we prefer, plant your dominant foot at the rear angled up on the kick plate, followed by your other at the front of the deck for a more aggressive riding stance. As standard, the Barney 2 comes fitted with CST tires. These are the same tires that are found on most electric scooters. However, we had ours fitted with PMT tires and the difference in performance was night and day. In Nami's pursuit of creating the best electric scooters, the type of tire used was just one of the areas that they focused on. To meet their demands for reliability, safety, and durability, NAMI decided to partner with PMT, who are recognized as the leader in the design and production of racing tires. We've tested every tire variation under the sun, and these are by far the best. The standard stock tires found on high performance scooters usually create an unsettling amount of excess wheel spin as they struggle to bite and grip to the ground, especially when you put the pedal to the metal. With these tires struggling to grip while accelerating, it can at times feel as though you're riding over ice. The PMT tires on the other hand have outstandingly good grip. Wheel spin is controlled and the tires feel glued to the ground, propelling you forward with a complete sense of control. Similarly, general riding is vastly improved and the rounded front on profile of the PMT tires makes the Bernie 2 more nimble and effective at taking sharp turns at speed, something that models with standard nylon tires can't achieve. This is further complemented by the exceptional braking performance, the results of which shocked us. One other important area yet overlooked aspect of the tires is their size. Measuring 11 inches high and 3.5 inches wide, they are far larger than other scooters that sport a similar top speed to the Bernie 2. You see, the vast majority of scooters that can hit 40 to 45 miles per hour rely on 10 inch tires. With an increased tire profile, no other scooter in the speed category comes close to the level of control and stability that the Bernie 2 provides. The Bernie 2 can support up to 330 pounds of rider weight, making it ideal for riders of all sizes. Plus, you have the option of adding preload to the suspension. By being able to adjust the preload, you can customize the suspension to your weight. For instance, if you weigh towards the upper limit of the 330 pound load capacity, you may want to add more preload to prevent the springs 
from bottoming out. The more preload added, the greater the force needed to compress the springs. This scooter was not built to be picked up at casual will, but Nami has still equipped it with a folding mechanism that manages to be as user friendly as those that you'll find. Main rival, the Wolf King GT, which has the most cumbersome folding mechanism that we have ever tested, the Bernie 2 can be easily folded in a matter of seconds. When I previously reviewed the original Bernie, Nami's flagship scooter, I was extremely impressed with the new technologies that it introduced and how its ride quality swept the floor with its competitors. Well, the Bernie 2 is even better. Because of the many riding modes and the ability to create customized riding profiles, you can wave goodbye to a one-size-fits-all approach and tailor the scooter to your exact preferences. Whether you want to cap the top speed, funnel more power to the front motor than the rear, or simply adjust the strength of the acceleration, the options to customize are endless. Similarly, the industry crushing adjustable hydraulic shocks enable you to create a riding profile that is perfectly suited to the terrain that you're traversing, while the sine wave controllers ensure an equally smooth throttle response. This is the complete opposite of scooters like those from Dualtron, which tend to be extremely torquey and hard to control even for experienced riders. If you're wondering what sine wave controllers do, think of them as a force pushing a bowling ball down a lane. While square wave controllers like those found in Dualtron scooters jab and nudge, sine wave controllers administer a smooth, constant push the whole way. Combined with the wide handlebars, steering damper and outstanding brakes, the Nami Bernie 2 has the best ride quality of any scooter that I have tested. Directly beneath the display, there's a USB charging port. Now you don't often see USB ports on scooters and if you do, they come with the risk of frying the unit that they operate from. Luckily, with the NAMI, you can safely use the port to charge your devices on the go. You simply have to activate it by keeping the M button pressed down for around three seconds. This will then cause a USB icon to appear in the top left corner of the screen, which indicates that the scooter has begun outputting volts and that the port is ready to start charging your devices. Most electric scooters have a form of cruise control, but the difference here is that the NAMIs can be adjusted while in motion. Typically, cruise control on scooters maintains a constant speed, but as soon as you touch the throttle or squeeze the brakes, it's turned off and you need to begin the process of maintaining a constant speed again before it kicks back into action. With the Bernie, it's much more versatile. To activate it, you simply get up to your desired speed and press the minus button for one second. Once engaged, you can adjust the speed of your cruise by clicking the plus and minus buttons to either increase or decrease your pace. The Bernie 2 floods any terrain ahead using a bright 2000 lumen headlight. It must be noted though that to get the best illumination, you will need to position it at a downward facing angle. Unlike the Wolf King GT, which has two glaringly large owl-like headlights that illuminate everything with equal distribution, the single headlight on the Bernie 2 directs light in an elongated shape that is very wide horizontally and narrow vertically. It has a strong beam in the center that gradually dissipates. Alongside the headlight, Nami treats us to some impressive mood LEDs that run the entirety of the deck and maintain the scooter's stylish aesthetic after dark. And after pining for Nami to improve the turn signals, the Bernie 2 delivers. These now wrap around the sides and the rear of the deck for overall coverage. It has one of the best lighting packages that I've tested. Now, while the warranty of NAMI scooters is somewhat dependent on the retailer, you can rest assured that NAMI themselves extends the warranty of the frame for three years. This just goes to show how much investment NAMI places on quality. The extension in warranty is an absolute game changer. We've reviewed countless scooters from varying brands 
and the longest warranty period that we've come across before NAMI was that of Apollo, which offered two years of coverage. While the scooter can be easily folded in a matter of seconds, the one area of its folding functionality that could benefit from a redesign is how the handlebars lay on the deck once folded. When the stem is folded, the display can become scratched as it comes into contact with the kick plate. I found that covering the display in a glove or sock prevents any undue damage. So do the pros outweigh the cons? They do. With best in-class build and ride quality, show-stopping braking performance, a sublime suspension setup, exceptional lighting package, Herculean battery and range, industry-leading interface with the ability to customize to your preferences, superb sine wave controllers, a blistering acceleration rate that goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys, and a wealth of premium features that prioritize rider safety, enjoyment, and comfort, the Nami Bernie 2 is without doubt my all-time favorite electric scooter. So what do you think about the Nami Bernie 2? Are there any other points that you would have added? If so, let me know in the comments. For those of you that would like to know more about what other scooters I recommend as alternatives or want to see our full performance tests, you can read our full review on electricscooterinsider.com, which I've linked to in the description below. If you're ready to hit that buy button, we recommend purchasing the Nami Bernie 2 from an established retailer like Fluid Freeride for the US market or Eru for those of you that are in Europe. You can scan this QR code here to find the best retailer. It's also worth noting that NAMI Electric has been building a distribution network by selecting the best dealers offering higher quality after sales service. Throughout Europe, NAMI Electric has been able to extend its network via their exclusive distributor, eRide. If you are a B2B customer and you want to get in on the action, you can contact eRide via this email address or alternatively contact NAMI themselves via this email address or their website. And finally, if you found value from this review, do me a favor, smash that like button and subscribe to become an electric scooter insider. Your support is appreciated. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.